Mr. Johnson of Louisiana, seek recognition. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I strike the last word. The gentleman is recognized. I have to respond to what my, my friend and colleague just said, and I understand the Democrats' talking points here, but this is so, so far out of line with what the American people believe about this. I, during the August uh, district work period, I, I was in a number of states uh, and colleagues' districts, all from the West Coast to the East Coast, and everywhere that I went, as soon as, it, as soon as the conversation was turned in a public forum to audience questions, they asked a couple of things right off the top. They're deeply concerned about inflation, of course. They're deeply concerned about illegal immigration and the border that's open and all these other issues. But you know what is fundamental and at the root of so much of that is the, the people's doubt about our institutions themselves. And it begins with our system of justice. And my friend, you said this is an un, quote unquote an unpatriotic response, our request for information about this. This is our most basic and fundamental responsibility. This is, the, this is the committee of the United States Congress that has the responsibility of oversight over this Department of Justice that, my friends, is completely out of control. And the American people know the facts. It doesn't matter what the talking points from the Democrats are, are, are presenting here today. The people know what's going on. Let me give you a quick recitation of some of this. This Department of Justice has filed politically motivated lawsuits against Republican-led states. They have artificially inflated domestic violent extremist statistics. They've used counterterrorism resources to target parents at school board meetings, and we'll be talking a lot about that later today. The department has selectively prosecuted and investigated political opponents of President Biden and his administration. These are facts. These are objective facts, and anybody can see that. We have a pattern that's emerged. This attorney general, Merrick Garland, seeking to prosecute cases against these political opponents, they're, they're, they're leaking this to friendly media sources. They're not doing this in a courtroom. They're not following regular order. They're not respecting due process. They're not even respecting the Constitution itself. They have weaponized, that is the word, they have weaponized the Department of Justice. And the greatest threat to this is what all those people have told us in all these public forums all around the country. They, the American people are doubting now that the system of justice is fair. You cannot weaponize America's system of justice. You know, most of us on this committee are attorneys. We all went to law school. The most fundamental tenet of this is, you know, the, the, the phrase, the motto that's etched into the marble above the entrance of the United States Supreme Court, equal justice under law. Wow, that is a critically important principle in a constitutional republic. There's a reason, I, I say all the time in these public forums, there's a reason that Lady Justice is depicted as the symbol of our system with a blindfold because there's not supposed to be two standards of justice, not one for the rich and powerful and one for everybody else. That's what we're seeing. You're not supposed to have Lady Justice yielding the sword against political opponents of the party in charge. That's what we have right now, and that's why we're alarmed. The most patriotic response that we can, we can have right now is to seek this information. Now, our side is in the minority. We don't have the gavels right now, and for those who are watching back home who are so frustrated about this, why can't you guys take control of this? Why can't you bring accountability? Hey, accountability's coming. It's, it's coming in the next Congress. We, we will get the gavels back in January, early January of next year, you'll have a new Congress. I pray, I believe that you'll have Republicans in charge of this committee, and we will perform our responsibilities, and gathering this information right now is a critical step, a critical step in having the information we need to exercise that, uh, that responsibility. The, the, the department, the FBI, the White House, they have failed to respond to our respectful and formal and lawful request for the information. We're entitled to it. More than that, we must have it so that Congress can continue to work, so that we can provide this essential oversight so our Department of Justice can continue to work for the people. That's why we're here. That's what you're going to hear repeated over and over. I yield to the, to the ranking member.